So I haven't read a full chapter yet, but I did just finish reading the introduction um, to Designing Your Life, and I'm already feeling more energized and excited than I was before I started. So I wanted to just do a quick recap so far of why I feel um, less afraid than I did this afternoon when I recorded my first video because after re-watching it I realized that I used the word terrifying three separate times throughout it so I think there was definitely some um, fear subconsciously uh, coming through in that video so um, I thought about it and before both reading the book doing the whole all the exercises and also just recording it in general I think my three biggest fears were um, one will people laugh at me um, two, um, what if I don't know what my passion is? Am I even going to be able to do this book and answer the questions? Um, and three, um, will I get it right? Like, isn't it embarrassing and demoralizing if I go through this whole process and I actually don't design the right life for me? Um, and so actually each of these three things were addressed in the introduction in kind of a cool way. So here there's lots of things, um, that they mentioned in the first introduction that I'm not going to summarize, but just want to touch on those three points. So to the first one, will people laugh at me? Um, I learned that, uh, first of all, three quarters of people don't end up in a career related to their major. So the fact that I'm trying to maybe get away from what I majored in is not abnormal at all. In fact, it's less likely that you will end up in a career um, related to the major that you did in college. Two, um, I learned that two-thirds of workers are unhappy in their job. So the fact that I also have experienced that and want to maybe do something about it is something that the majority of the population apparently can relate to. Um, and the third piece of information is that 31 million people in the U.S. between the ages of 45 and 70 are actually interested in finding what they called an encore career, which I had never heard of before. But um, what that tells me is it's not only what you would think of as millennials who would be a good audience for this Designing Your Life book. It's actually people of all ages. And uh, to me, that helps give me a little more confidence that um, I'm sure some people will laugh at me, but at least <laughs> a lot more people will relate to this than I initially thought. Um, my second fear what if I don't know my passion? Will I even be able to go through this process? Um, so apparently 80% of people when asked don't know what they are passionate about. That actually blows my mind because I feel like more people are know their passion and I'm like that outsider when asked like, what are you passionate about? I, I get nervous being able to answer, but um, apparently I was wrong. Apparently 80% of people also don't know <laughs> how to answer that question. And the best reframing so far in the introduction was that um, I learned that it doesn't go, what's your passion? And then from that, you design a good life. Actually, you reverse it. So designing a good life can lead to passion. And that just kind of blew my mind and is really awesome because I, it means I don't need to be able to answer that question to be able to design a good life. And actually, through designing a good life, I will discover and build and create new passions. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then the third fear, um, will I get it right? This comes from my perfectionist mindset. I definitely have struggled with this for a while. Um, and it's something that I always need to recognize and combat in myself. Uh, and I think the best tenant that they referenced in the introduction that is such a good reminder for me is just to be curious, to approach this book from a mindset of curiosity um, rather than a mindset of getting it right. Um, so I know that I will throw stuff away. I know that I might design parts of my life that actually don't end up being part of my um, end designed life, and that's okay. It's a process, and if I approach this from an excitement around curiosity, because I love learning, I love learning new things, I love figuring stuff out, and so if I come from it at that mindset of like, oh, cool, I'm going to get to learn what I might be part of my best life, what might not be part of that life, and be curious about it and have fun with it rather than a mindset of I must get it right, then in the end, I actually will. Um, and so that's going to be kind of like the thing I write on my wrist <laughs> throughout the next um, few chapters is like be curious because um, I think that will push me to have a little more fun rather than the pressure that I usually feel of getting things right. 
So I'm going to dive into the first real chapter now, um, and hopefully you will dive in with me.